slash 101 all right well if you see in my first video of all the mods that I did here's a couple little extra ones that I've uh, added on since then um, if you're noticing everywhere I got all these ye little yellow little dots what I've done is I've actually took in this uh, just went to the craft store and got some really thick uh, decorative uh, fabric paint it's pretty durable I used it on my uh, poker table for uh, a pay line and well anyways um, I use that and the reason is is I'm having some screw issues where the screws are backing out after a certain amount of time and this way I put I marked them all at uh, 12 o'clock so this way if the screw backs out and I could see it as an indicator that it is backing out I could tighten it up before it becomes a problem so it's just a, a quick glance um, indicator so I hope that helps you out and also I installed the RPM gear cover uh, compared to the old style the old style has got a notch in it most people put tape in it but after a while your drive shaft sort of kind of wears it out rubs on it makes a bunch of noise RPM made a nice little uh, add-on for that plus uh, the the hole is a lot bigger for adjusting your spur gear which allows for your, uh, your wrench to go in and have a lot more room for, for play plus the cover is a little bigger too so you can use a little bigger spur gear um, nice nice little add-on comes in two different colors other than the black and the blue um, I, I forgot what the other color is but I decided on blue um, what else have I done since then um, oh over here I've taken the handle off of the remote control I didn't particularly like the handle. I think the remotes are pretty ugly. So I decided to cut the handle off and hope you can use that mod. All right.